Go. I hit go. Go. There it is. Go. Next. Next is right now, and it's a perfect world with Flash, somebody, and me, Vinny PG. Hello, Vinny. Real Liberty Media. And on the third day of December 2019, Santa Claus is going to come and slap you on your butt this year, mister. Let me tell you. Oh, wow. I'm almost, let's see. He knows who was. my anniversary. Yeah, but he knows who was naughty. And yeah, you're consistent that. at that. You constantly make the naughty list, no matter what you do. <laughs> Insider yeah, trading is such a wonderful thing. If, Even with my bestest of friends, I do. I do. <laughs> if you was Jewish, <laughs> you would probably not be all so uh, easily tricked by the Santa. Easily tricked. Hey, mm-hmm. before we go too far, shall we say hello to the box and the buddy? Grimner! How you doing? You jumped right on down there. I'll have to go backwards in Cowboy Tech Beetle and Barman. <laughs> I always say yeah. it. No, nah, I always say it to Grim way before everybody else. Does. You do. You do. Yeah. Grimner's yeah, awesome. Yeah, he's yeah. he's one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Well, uh, I don't know about all that, Mister yeah. Nose Up the he's, Butt. He is he is like the most awesome. Well, you tell me what he had for lunch there, Mister. I bet you can smell it. <laughs> well. <laughs> I can tell you this hey, much. Right. If if I had if we was like in the emergency situation right, right here yeah. and we said Graham and he oh. was in the middle of his lunch, yeah. he would stop and come help us. Oh, on yeah, because that's yeah. the yeah. Well, that he's awesome? he's good about all that. I gotta admit that, but hey, get your nose, get your nose, wipe it off, and it's dripping. <laughs> There's Moose. Where'd Girl you Kate, leave off? Oh, as Moose, Chalcedonian Echelon, Graham Z. Java Doctor 2. Hey, there's your buddy. I mean, there, that's you. No, wait. No, that's the man <laughs> accusing you of being somebody else. Hadrian. Who nobody knows to be real. Or, yeah, yeah. There's two no. or three of them. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's fun. It'll be that way. It's but, fun, though. You know, yeah, don't lie to somebody and think you're going to be believed all the time. Ha. Well, you know what the be- better thing to do is to accuse somebody else of what you yourself is doing. That's right. That's an old, old trick, ain't it? You betcha, yeah. baby. Cause well. Don't fuck with us where I come from. We we invented the game. Tell you. There's Meister Brown. There's the, uh, the the consistent me, Ponder Gander. Uh-oh. You know, and there's Poops, poops and Prince below me. Poopster Prince. Hey. That doesn't sound right. You said it. I did. Rob works. Hey, Rob. Rob. Cool. He's the bubbler. Well, he's not he's been bubbling man. us like he used to, though. Yeah, but he has been off in the great adventures yes. in the land of, of Arkansas. Uh, Ozarkia. Since he moved, he's a changed fellow. <sighs> Selfishness. Oh, yeah. At last. <laughs> hey, I'm, I know all about selfishness, man. I'm probably yeah. more selfish than even you. You know, mm-hmm. I used to be heavily involved and in, very dedicated to social media. Mm-hmm. And they got all these algorithms and tricks and mm-hmm. kicks and spits mm-hmm. and all that to poke you in the eye. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. So I've, mm-hmm. like, way a long time ago, just like said, yeah. Yeah. I used it for what I use it. And, Ta-da. Uh, anyway. But, yeah. yeah. I, I don't like do a lot of posting, posting, posting. I did at one point. Fan of white. I was like, you know, I was like, I'm here to change the world. Vinny PG. Yeah, that's me. The PG is for Weather Ponder Door. Gander. Ponder, Vinny Ponder Gander. Woodman. I was just helping you get through this before you yeah, ran I, and does, does, like uh, a mad if a woodman could chop, uh, chop wood. Chuck. Phantom. Yeah, my buddy's cutting wood right now. Whoa, he sounds very oh, talented. Man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, I got a couple of chainsaws there. I am fired up in Uh-oh. some number of years. No, sure <laughs> you better do some cleaning then, sport. <laughs> yeah, a buddy number of mine of let, uh, let uh. It loaned out one of my saws one time some years ago, and it came back broke. So I got another saw, and I'm pretty sure when uh, – when I put it up to storage, I I run all the fuel out of it where it wouldn't sit in there and gum up. So yeah, that's pretty sure is just enough to maybe not be right. 
Right. Exactly. That's the part I don't like. Yeah. And I'm pretty uh, sure I'm usually way the fuck off. Yeah. Well, there's Phantom. Oh, I wish I didn't think that. Now, is Tascura, is that like one of them, uh, what are them, them little monster animals like in Puerto Rico and Mexico, I think? No, I think it's other. a wording made up to sound Mexican. Uh, to intimidate like a, Whitey, you got to sound like some kind of Are you of Mexican. sure that's not a Chasa Cubra? Mm. No, because then it would have a B in it. Okay. Anyway. There's your wife, the wonderful, Which most Hello. fantabulous circle line. She's, she's upstairs crocheting while I'm down here ah. doing this. Yeah. yeah, somebody tricked me on that word. Mm, Do we say cyber neighbor? I say you cyborg know. noodle. There is Miss. Is the G Zen. silent in your language? Is the G silent Cy- in your language? The G? Mm-hmm. No, cyborg, well, then it's cyborg what do you say? noodle. Why did you say cyborg? Good. Cyber is not cyborg, but it's uh, close. I see. I, the a, G is a cyber cyborg. Yeah, I'm going to read the G. Know. I like the G. Okay. The you letter G might be my favorite letter in the entire alphabet. Uh, Pat, I'd like a G, please. Don't ignore the G for 500, uh, please, Alex. Yeah. Anyway, and where were we? Donna. 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 Uh, E-Man. E-Man. I should be the E-Man. No, you shouldn't. You're Vinny. I got an E. My name starts with E. Yeah, here we go. See, you know what? I have really, really restrained Uh-oh. myself all these Uh-oh. number of years. All go. my necks with, with the Vinny attachment that I've not gone off into all the words I could come up with. Okay, well, you're time. making me light up at, at six after, mister. You, I ain't even got one roll, so... You're forcing me into this. I can't, smoke it. Can't help smoke it. it. I'm There's a victim a of your if wake. Civility, sir. Flash <laughs> somebody. Hello, self. Look at Frumpy's doing double dirty. Yeah, the F man. Yeah, he's at work and at <laughs> home. <laughs> And there's the mighty hawkster, the desert hawk himself. Goober. Gromit. JJ's 999. What does that mean? Have you ever found out? He's a secret agent for Her Majesty. It's like 007. Only way better. Yeah, Yeah. he went way beyond what 007 could do back in the 60s. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Uh, know. Ask him. He's the one that wrote it. <laughs> he well, ask he never me comes for in it. and talks. If, uh, if you ask me, I'm going to do what Hans does and make up an excellent story that sounds possible. I'm going to call it WD-40 mm-hmm. and engage the uh, the motion. Yeah, but WD-40, Leslie Nelson used that in a film. Oh, as well, his secret name. spy name. His code was yeah, WD-40. And, uh, yeah, look up his movies, though. You'll find it. Anyway. What is it? Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, airplane. Uh, spy, that spy Hard. I think it was in Spy Hard. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, so now we're at Pond on Sauce on. and Sock Puppet. Hey, everybody else. Here is Sirius AF. I don't know who that is. Somebody uh, new. There or is. somebody with a new name. Very you serious. can always tell it's me. Uh, when I change my nick, you always know Oh, yeah, because you secret. tell us. Hey, everybody, yeah. I changed my neck. You can see it when I do it. <laughs> see how you assume? You, see, now, you always here's assume. Slim Jim Slim. Slim His Slim Jim. Not Jim. He's not slim, and uh, he's firm. He's this, back, firmly back at the firm and working away. So, mm. the Flim Flam man. So, is it very good? No, I'm talking about the holiest Roger. Ah. That's, that sounds like a Flim Flam band to me. They hey, said last night. I did. Hey, yeah. there's Cowboy. I better get one roll. Be ready. Are you ready? Where it ha- happened to uh, Mr. Flash? I think he got hurt. You okay there, buddy? I was doing a call. Mind your business, boy. Good for <laughs> you. In a, hey, tonight in a perfect I'm world. Partners. Yes. I come up with a title for our show tonight. You want to know what it is? Yeah, that's what I I do. And, uh, yeah, so 
we're going to explore this idea of climate. Yeah, so tonight's episode of In a Perfect World is entitled, You Can't Handle the Proof. And our first topic for the evening is going to be defining the word climate (laughs) from its original meaning, not the crap we're told it means today. And maybe my good friend Vincent can explain that to you. When, well, oh, you're cough. Uh, you're gonna cough. No, I'm gonna no? ah. get prepared to cough. Ah, there you go. Yeah. I heard that yeah. inhaling thing going on. Yeah, I'm going you to drug addled uh, hippie. Anyway. Is a would you call a tomato a drug? A drug? Yeah. Wow. It depends if you eat it with a needle, I suppose it would qualify, but no, not as a rule. You know, some people get a bad reaction to uh, nightshades, which would include tomatoes, potatoes, uh, eggplant. I called you an eggplant, by the way. Uh, peppers. And I think there's something else in there. Uh, yeah, but are you talking Tobacco. about a natural negative reaction, or are you talking a clinical negative reaction that was added into you through an inoculation of some kind or another? Yeah, I uh, I've often wondered that myself. I, because I think probably it's uh, a, something that gets into the environment, that specific locale of the climate within your body, and takes up uh, root there. Climate. You know, do you have climate inside your body? Of course you do. If you know what the word is originate, uh, where it originates from, it helps a lot to understand why. Using it to explain what you're using it for doesn't really mean what you think it means. It's been adapted to, it's like a, it's like believing 9-11 was a certain group of people that had nothing to do with it. It depends on the information that you ingested over a lifetime, I suppose. But to start this out, me and Sark before the show, I said to her about a, this climate change thing, because of you and Mary and other people over the years, has got me to thinking about what the word actually means that we're using. Because just because it, it's defined as that in the modern day doesn't mean it has anything to do with the word that you think it has to do with. And therefore, because of that idea, I've gone the step further, Vincent, like you and Miss Mary. And I think, wait a minute, then we're, we're chanting the wrong thing doesn't mean anything when you say it out loud it doesn't mean anything when you think it so there's no wavelength to jump into it's just dead air but we don't know that as a collective and you're going to explain to us why i may be on the right road (laughs) Uh, so you you pulled up a a definition from somewhere i think let me go to let's the, the dumbest dictionary that I know because it comes right off the top right here in your Google search is uh, will we get sued if, uh, for defamation if I say Merriam Webster is a yeah maybe probably if not sued probably climate. banned from something I don't know so, I don't climate, really care have fun it, Denny. Is, it is pronounced as a K-L and a long I dash M and a backwards E-T climate not climate climate Right? Mm-hmm. Climate? Mm-hmm. Definition of a climate. It's a region on the earth having uh, specified climate conditions. Number two, it's the average course or condition of the weather at a place, usually over a period of years, as exhibited by temperature, wind velocity, and precipitation. So you got a healthful climate, a warm, humid climate. So if you got arthritis or if you had to, if you were a lunger like Doc Holliday, you'd want to go out and <coughs> perhaps to uh, a desert climate. Uh, the prevailing set of conditions is uh, B in number two of uh, as a temperature and humidity indoor. So you've got indoor climate, climate controlled, right? The prevailing influence of in, uh, environmental conditions characterizing a group or period atmosphere. You can you can have uh, right climate of fear, a suspicion. What are you doing? What, hey, what are you doing right now, sir? Who? I am very suspicious about, about what. what you're doing. I don't know, it's a climate of suspicion. Oh, yeah. 
And then there was the culture of climate, the cultural climate of the 1960s. You know, you remember parts of those. Right. But, Vinny, the point I was really digging at to get to underneath all the definition is the word was hijacked. It means something not even relative to what they're using it for today. They just You're adjust. referring to climate change. No, I'm yeah, but I'm talking about just the word climate in its by itself is not a changeable thing. You can't change the climate of anything. It's a slope. It's an area. So how do you do that? It's it's a mind fuck is what it is. They well, we'll just explain that. Well, Give the definition and um, where hmm. where it uh, is not what it is then. Because if you look into the Greek or the French definition of the word, it is not a, a has nothing to do with weather. What I'm saying in simple terms is that slope. So it means it like declines your uh, yeah or or declines. ascends. It's not a it's an object. It's not it's got nothing to do with weather. It's about uh, space, physical space. Uh, how do you? You can't throw the weather into that without, you know, changing the way that pe uh, people think over generations. So what they do, what they did with television is freaking marvelous. They introduced all these new words to the, pub to the population, and they gave them all new meanings. And every 20 years, they update the definition to fit whatever they want it to fit. And I'm using climate as an example of this crap that we really live in i'm trying to remember what the word i'm looking for here like uh above palm springs on the other side of that big old mountain is him at california right uh, i'm not mountain, sure man. i think it'd be mountain. east wouldn't it be wait above the mountains the mountains are to the east well actually it would be him it would be west of uh palm springs west and a little west, south towards the, the beach mountain. Yeah, I'd be going back towards... Uh, oh, okay, I'm not that familiar yeah. with it. But I know the name, but I can't. San Diego or something, yeah. right? It, you go Once you go a little further west out of him, it, you'd go south towards uh, Temecula, and then that, of course, goes down into uh, the uh, yeah, former home of our uh, very own Grimner right here, uh, San Diego. Mm -hmm. But anyway, San, San, now San Jacinto is that mountain range that uh, lies between him and Palm Springs. And I forget how many, uh, there's five or maybe even more different, and I'm trying to remember the word that they use, the climate zones. I don't mm. know that that's the right word. It's different, uh, like, you See, got climate, desert, climate desert, zones in the original, uh, but Vinny, climate zones in the original definition of climate would be redundant. But in the modern day, how we've been taught to understand shit, is different than the, you know, what, well, like we've been going back and forth about how tough it was to grow up a hundred years ago and all this shit. And I'm starting to wonder because back before the government stepped in and made everything illegal, people lived a good, clean life, eating hemp <laughs> food. They raised their cows on hemp. So they ate, when they ate the beef, the beef was hemp fed. And, and Not everybody did that. Well, Not okay, there, uh, maybe every, but there's no everybody about nothing. Fucking Jesus, yeah. fucking Christ, Vinny. I live in freaking well, Denmark. Don't me, man. Went loud. Well, come I'm on. I'm just telling everybody. you, there's a lot of misconceptions and and misperceptions of mm. what things was like. Okay, and I'm saying. That I'm not far removed from those generations, and I'm not, and I'm saying it's it's been played to sound worse than it could have been. Is what I'm saying because the modern day people that we've become have been conditioned to buy shit that's not true, and people that were before us knew better. I was raised by these fuckers. <laughs> they told me not to fall for certain shit. So as a result of their, you know, handing the knowledge on instead of de depriving me of it, like if I went to school. I don't know. My grandpa was born in uh, 19 and 8. My grandma was born in uh, 1917. Mm -hmm. They they lived pretty hard. I mean, uh, they, there was a lot more simpleness to life. And, you know, he put in five acres of just field corn just to feed animals. 
go through the year hogs, cows. You know, you milking, milking you get your cow and slaughter hogs in the fall. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something about uh, thinking that the climate, the mean temperature that, that uh, mm -hmm. between now and what it used to be. Yeah. So I remember asking about later 1970s, maybe first 1980, it might have been. I asked my uncle. I said, because uh, if you know what what butchering is, and you know slaughter, and then hey, fall, you hang your meat, you smoke it, but you the temperatures don't even stay below freezing throughout winter. I mean, it's it was like what a month ago it was like shiver me timbers, and it's, what is it fifty maybe today? It's different. You, I don't know what's happened, but I have my suspicions. I I say that there has been climate change but the that trick is because they the got change. people they they got people arguing both sides of it saying there is climate change and there ain't climate change but like everything else it's a distraction you pull, pull you away from <laughs> what the actual problem is mm -hmm. now uh some people call you crazy to say there's chemtrails well okay let's call them uh uh persistent contrail lingering contrails then if that'll make you happy but i'm going to tell you no such thing that there, okay, there's more traffic, air traffic these days than there were uh, back in 1970. But something's happened, right? So they're putting these clouds up there that they didn't used to. And clouds form by nucleation. There must be particles in there for this detached to and form clouds. So I mean, what? All these clouds that we get today, what if there were no airplanes? Would we have clouds? Did they do <laughs> I don't know. Did they do something to the upper atmospheric <clears throat> conditions that have caused things? You know, we heard about the hole in the ozone in the 70s, right? Was it? I don't remember what oh, years it was. I talked right through and didn't it, was even ago. It. it was a ways ago. It was a ways ago. Yeah. So, you know, done stuff. The, uh, uh, what are they? The CFCs? The chloro chlorofluorocarbons? <laughs> They, okay, well, let me ask you something. Then. And air conditioning, some stuff they've stopped, uh, you know, using in major industry is because this stuff goes up, and not everything that goes up comes down. And helium is, is an example; it leaks off into the atmosphere of space. So, uh, other stuff might be trapped up in there. Not me and you. I mean, we're not done at all by ourselves, but the uh, the system that is in this world here is uh, waste and spin and destroy and then rebuild and kill it all and let uh, let the devil take the, the what was it the hind tail I don't know I forgot I'm not the, I'm not the big anyway, yeah so we're all fighting about this and that and you're getting this stuff dropped on your head why why what has happened oh, well. climate's different it's yeah, not the well, same climate. Is it is it naturally occurring? I don't think so. I think something's been done, don't you? Of course I do. Well, don't you yeah. pay attention Blown to my up side of this? Yeah, that was rhetorical. Oh. Blown up bombs in the upper atmosphere. All kinds uh, of crazy shit. Yeah. Anyway, the, still, the point behind the whole argument that I'm trying to get to is how right. they condition us to accept the meaning of the new definition of an old word. They just introduce it into a new thing, and 20 years go by, and it's common, and everybody's saying it. But if you fucking look up what it means, it doesn't fit. That's that's my argument. Not not all the... You know, I, I, I agree with the chemtrails. Whatever they're putting up there is wrong. When they do it here, I just lose my freaking mind. But... They they might be doing it to help us keep us all from dying real quick. What do you think? No. Uh-uh. No, there's a lot of money in death. No, thank you. Well, yeah. You uh, you string it out, you make more profit on it. Uh, there's, you know, there's so many people that you can make profit off at anything that you can get enough people to do, to go along with. So it doesn't really matter what your game is as long as your game is consistent. And dying, you're going to always have a lot of fucking customers because people do that. But uh, then there's all these other things that we're led to believe that I, over the years, I just start to wonder if any of the shit that I grew up believing was true. But 
It depends <coughs> on, a, on a person's knowledge of definition of a word. And that's all seems to be relative. <coughs> like there's there's no set rules to follow, you know, how I am about rules. And this is why. Because how come you got a set of rules and they got a set of rules, but nobody follows the same fucking rules. It's always different for this group than that group. And this group's got an exemption because they got club feet. And, you know, and this group's got circumcised, so they're special. And these other ones are black, so they're special. You know, everybody's got a fucking group to cling to and a, and a cause. And I think the way that we got here was by redefining the language that we use to accept these fucked up ideas that don't work, like democracy. <laughs> For fuck's sake, government. All you got to do is say the word government to Mary and see where she goes with it. And I've known Mary long enough to trust that she's not off the, you know, off the deep end. She's telling me the truth. And a lot of folks don't have the luxury of knowing the truth when they hear it. They think it's the opposite of the truth. And we do this. We all do it. I've done it. That's why I'm trying to correct and figure out what the fuck this shit means that we're all saying. And then when I come to a decision, it's like, it doesn't even mean what, what we're t being told it means. That is the well, point of my rant tonight. Whether the freaking shit's real or not is an individual's perception but the ideas behind it to make us dance a certain way and to believe a certain story have to, they've got to be coming from something. They just, why does something repel me and something else attracts me? What, what about it am I attracted to or repelled from? You know, I, the original meaning of the word is somehow up in my brain already and I, I just had to read it to find it to be true. Do some of us just know we're being fucked without having to be explained how we're being fucked? We just know that we're being fucked. And then you come along and you go, well, the chemtrails and the this. And, and that puts a picture to it if you don't know. Well, I think a lot of times uh, adapting your language to the, uh, the group or person that you might be speaking to is, would probably help in uh, communication. So instead of saying chemtrails, you might want to use uh, these uh, persistent, lingering, ever-expanding, globular things in the sky. What is it? <laughs> trails. <laughs> Con condensation trails. Uh, see, adapt the language to disguise the problem is what yeah. I'm getting at, Vinny. It, it mm -hmm. lightens, see, in some people's minds. I don't know how other people's minds work. I only know how my mind works. And it seems hey, to let me, me interrupt you real yo, quick. Yo. But it's per pertaining to it. So I, I was going to retweet this mm -hmm. from Barman, but mm -hmm. I've got climate. I've got one word there. So we get, what are we going to call this today? Climate what? What do you mean? Climate change? Climate debate? What is no, no, no. I gave the show a title. I called it. Oh, you did? You can't handle the proof. I, I forgot. That's right. And tonight's topic was defining the word climate from its origin. And, uh, I don't know. I just thought I'd like to argue with you about that because it's such a fun topic. You know, it brings up so much shit in different people's heads. And what got me was the original definition of the word climate seems to have nothing to do with weather. So how did it get to where it is today so that people would be chanting this freaking slogan all over the freaking world, but it doesn't mean anything. So what's the purpose? I, do you have the link that you guys had come up with there so I could what link? see it myself? The Cirque, one that you said down uh, to Greece. Did, yeah. Cirque did it. No, I'll ask her for it after the show. I'll put them in the notes. She's like upstairs. Yeah, yeah, well, she's upstairs. Well, hold on. She might hold be on just a Let me finish this. This is what I'm doing. I'm going climate change. No, no, no. no. And the word climate. This is just for the tweet. This for the tweet oh, here. Okay. Climate change. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't handle the proof. Yeah, but it's not change. It's just defining the word climate 
That's all I'm yeah. after, Vinny. I don't give a fuck but about the word change. All of it. Yeah, you but it all is changing. I'm I'm adapting to my part into this right here because everything's changing, right? Language. Uh, no, see, we not every. Uh, see, there you go. It's a matter of how you interpret the me. language. Of course, I am because. Yeah. That's what I'm ta- I'm living like here, easy. sixty years old, Vincent. I know something. I don't you're know how old. to explain it to anyone. Well, that's what I'm trying but, to get. To. Yeah, but you're see. I'm not concerned about the physical. I'm thinking more of, of the mental here. And you're going physical on me. And I I don't see what you see. I've got a really probably 10% of what I saw in the city I see here in the country. I'm not looking for it. I mean, a helicopter flies over here about once a year. We don't even have regular aircraft. Every couple of months, you might hear a plane fly over. Wow. It's very isolated. Yeah, we're in the mid, like the end of the world. It's so freaking weird. And then we got this huge, gigantic steel plant in the backyard. They've updated since we've been here. There used to be a Dan Steel. I think it was a Danish-Russian group venture. And I, I'm not sure they changed all the signs. I'm going to check out who owns it now. But we it, had a big it keeps uh, explosion. The, it keeps the economy yesterday. going here. Uh-huh. Explosion. And where you live? Um, yeah, I was in Clinton. I didn't hear oh. it, but about 11 o'clock. Yeah. So there was different. I, I was looking for it. I hadn't found uh, what News. it was. But today I heard a good sonic boom out there. Ah. Uh, Could the, be the, the military. The, the couple of people. Yeah, they fly here all the time. The couple of people uh, told me that. That heard it, they said it wasn't a sonic boom. One guy told me anyways. Yeah. And he said somebody else he talked to said that wasn't a sonic boom. Huh. Some years ago, there was a, a helicopter. I think it ejected. The, it was going to crash, and it ejected like a fuel tank, if I got this uh, story right. And it, not far from here, kaboom, it was loud. And so they're claiming some big explosion uh, hereabouts. And I don't know what it was. I was looking for it. Okay. We got a lot of planes that fly over here. The C-130 uh, Hercules is out of Jacksonville uh, uh, Air Force Base over north of Little Rock there. Mm-hmm. They fly over a treetop level. They run the river and the valleys here. It's awesome, man. Uh, Looking we for also, weed? No, they just fly and they, they're practicing maneuvers for, uh, for deployment and overseas, you know, so that's. That's how they fly over there. Low Lots of, de- yeah, those deserts are loaded with forest. Yeah, well, there's hills and all that, so it's all terrain. You're practicing. I was being anti-war. I know. Big bully. I know. But I'm just telling you what mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. So we got a, a lot of planes here. A lot, also here in Arkansas, it's almost like uh, if you want to draw uh, X's, across the nation, you know, connecting points. It's uh, There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, intersections of air, air traffic here. Does it worry you? Also, yeah, but does no. it worry you where you live? Or are you no. just mentioning it for what? Yeah, just to talk about hmm. up in the sky. I see a lot of, hmm. <clears throat> excuse me, I see a lot of air traffic. Hmm. You know, you're saying you didn't have but a few. I get them all the time. It's like almost, uh, you know, what is that, white noise? Or you don't even hear it a lot of times. Yeah, they're so high. Yeah, you just see no, the, no, the low. planes. They're lo- yeah, here they fly low. Oh no, and no, not here. They fly generally, way high. Generally, air traffic uh, was regulated to forty thousand feet in most areas. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And that, yeah, that was uh, back when. But the smaller uh, ones get to fly a lot lower. Well, it depends on yeah where they're yeah. going and yeah. the type of plane. Well, I'm talking about where I'm yeah. at. Not where I've been. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Well, no. Well, that's that's the same anywhere too. I mean, the, you got the uh, uh, what was those DC? No, oh, I forget. I don't know. Hannah Rock, must think Rock that the, the helicopter is a bird though, because she'll go out and bark at it, <laughs> and she thinks everything in the sky is something that for her to bark at. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's some kind of bird dog in her, I think. She goes nuts chasing after big old groups of birds in the backyard, but. They're in, you know, in the trees. She can't get there. Well, we get them low. So I, I, I spent, uh, spent a lot of time outside. More so, I did. But watching, watching, because I'd be on a tractor or whatever all day out there, and I'd be looking <laughs> at this guy watching them. <laughs> now, okay. and then I started learning about all these, what the, 
mm -hmm. you know, the climate that it's required up there mm -hmm. to produce these. Uh, okay, but you're you're using you're using the uh, modern day definition right, well, of climate. I, Discern that, so yeah, I know. Well, I yeah. can't. You're gonna. I can't. You, give to you the answer that you're wanting because oh. we're, we're just discussing it. All I can give you is what my what I've seen, and right. So and I, it's I, the, I see, more. I wish you had that link so I could look at it closer. The, I'm looking at here. It's C14 from late Latin clima from Greek uh, clima inclination region related. Yeah, to she Greek. came up from Greek and Clean, French. Helene. Yeah, that comes from uh, yeah the definition of climate at dictionary dot com right at the top. So you know, well, not very in depth. Okay, I didn't have any time to go look in here for. Uh, but it had to do with space, not atmosphere, not not physical. You know, the physical space of a space, of a zone, of a this, of a that. You can't. I to me, I don't yeah, see okay. how you can let do me that, try with to run with that then. Because right, weather seems that. to be fluid, and it you know it doesn't stay stationary. But a zone or a, a slope is a stationary thing. So if that is the definition. A slope is stationary? A slope is, you, what do you have your hair of a moving slope when you go skiing? Hey, we've got the moving slope for you guys that really like the excitement. I, no, I thought ski the slope, slope. Was, the, uh, was like to say there's a hill right there and you can, it's sloping down. The, the exactly. So it's related like to. Like tapering. Yeah, it's related to physical, not atmosphere. See, the physical exactly. atmosphere is fluid and the physical ground that we're on is is not so fluid. Even a river takes a freaking while to start wearing shit down. Dude. It takes time. Well, words are used uh, differently in different applications. Now, let's yeah. go to climate. Let me, okay. let me go back to climate. Yeah. All right. So yeah. you have controlled climate. I said, I read there. Or everybody knows, you know, well, you got air conditioner. You got a heater. So you're conditioning the climate within, well, where I'm sitting right here in my house. It's, yeah. Conditioning. Got a heater. Mm. Right, yeah, conditioning the climate to make mm. it warmer. If I go outside, it's colder, mm -hmm. right? So the climate, again, one more time, is more where you're at than what you're are surrounded by. It's so, well, it yeah. also can be manipulated. And then certain things in uh, that occur naturally also <laughs> cause the development of this weather conditions. Now, if you've uh, if you've, if you're up on a hill... Mm. And you go down the hill, mm. down the slope, mm. down the in decline, or if you're coming up the incline, cold, hot air rises. Yep. You know that. Yep. And the cold air sinks. Pretty falls. much. So yeah. it, it would yeah. run down there. So yeah. you get down there on the river bottom, it's going to be colder down there at the bottom than uh, because you come up, but then at some point you come up to the top, and then you got the blistering winds are blowing. So <laughs> you, get, yeah. you can find the lee. That's yeah. a different climate than it is at top of the mountain at the bottom of the mountain mm -hmm. along that slope. So it's still overall in one huge climate region, I guess. Or zone. <laughs> I mean, you've, you've got your gardening maps. Uh, what zone are you in? Uh, <laughs> seven is Florida, is that right? So, you know, and then you get up north, you've got uh, uh, the lesser of the climate zones, lesser growing season, mm. shorter. Mm. All right. Mm. So, yeah, I've been one now. Back yeah. at, at history, and, and you don't have, I mean, there's like super cold temperatures in the past and super hot temperatures in the past. Yep. Yeah. They're setting records every day, it seems like. I don't understand uh, that. Because right. people believe what they read. There's That's variation, why. but generally uh, there's particular parts of the world hmm. that yeah. are consistent throughout the year, changing through the seasons to different uh, 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 rain, all that stuff. Now look at the uh, Sahara Desert. It's been supposed by these modern day evolutionary scientists that, you know, that's been going on for a real long time, but uh, evidence is coming out by, by scientists now that Man, that happened rather quickly comparatively over the last few thousand years. So that that's a different uh, climate there now, right? The environment, mm -hmm. or have I just what am I missing here? It's because slope is not uh, it's not pegging my money here for me. See, and it all, it, but Vincent, it all yeah. still revolves around your own personal understanding of each word that goes into these long drawn out explanations and 
what I'm trying to say is that the, the core of your, your point is based on crap that's not true. That doesn't mean that you can't tell a, a few things that are true along the way. It just means that it doesn't have a foundation that I'm willing to depend on. And that covers just about everything that uh, I've grown to uh, understand as this is what the public believes. Because most of the public still believes America's on the gold standard and dollars are backed by gold. <laughs> Wait till right, they find out. The mm. word climate is, is generally used to uh, describe weather. Exactly. That's because we've been told it does. When it, In the original sense of the word, it doesn't. It talks about an area, not, not, a, not an atmosphere in the area. It's talking about a specific area. So you start adding words to change the definition, and people are going to learn that. That's going to be their norm, and you control them with it. Because I think, none of these are my ideas, not yours. I think that we're all controlled by the things that we believe. That's life. Life keeps you in your box because of your fears of whatever's out there. You know, that works good in uh, in two different ways that I can think of. One is if... Uh, if your beliefs are that uh, uh, you're you're here to uh, try to improve as you go along and, and uh, make a make a better way as you go mm. and to do good and uh, then there's other people that they do things because of uh, fear of retribution whether it be law or a oh yeah person they yeah. might sell so yeah. yeah sure the threat is just as valid with some folk as the actual punishment. Of the threat, yeah. That's why I don't. I don't really believe all this written law shit does anything more than encourages people to break the freaking law. And then you got a punishment to go by on top, so it's even more fun. Let's let me capitalize. give you an example here, hmm? and uh, uh, I, I I hate to do it, but I'll go. What did I bring let's, up let's to take, you? Let's take the Mason, the the Mason Masonic organization over the centuries, right? Okay. Um, and they, they, the conspiracy is that they say that uh, inside this uh, esoteric center, this group is this evil, right? So we can put it on Mason or uh, any any number of names that you might uh, uh, good. So they on the outside they're doing good. They surround themselves with good, with mm -hmm. good people, yeah. and then there's a core. <laughs> now, uh, the fact is that the, I think this is a, the operating system for about everything. There's something good, then the, the bad will infiltrate it and uh, wear that mask and, and uh, take it, take it on. Oh, right, let me look at this from Grimner on climate. Hmm. Hey, he he came up with an anagram for a slope. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense for me. But let's see, S L O P E equals angle of the dangle. Dang it. <laughs> That's an is that an anagram? What do you call uh, an No, 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 no. An anagram is when the letters, know, like if it would have said salt, um, salt uh, lick, or um, puke, right. everybody. Yes. Yeah. Swat. Yeah. Slope. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. No, I was just kidding. You no, know, I, I was. You were trying. There. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, see, a lot of our problem is actually is communicating. In the first place, I think that's where we where we falter because yeah. because and it's it's not a bad thing. It's just we've all been taught different shit instead of all being taught the same thing. We've all been taught all these different freaking things and then thrown together. And then they expect us to get along with all our core beliefs being of different origin. And it takes a lot of work to survive in the society without losing your temper and shooting somebody in the face because people have been taught the most ignorant shit over the last couple hundred years. Well, you know, it's uh, slow and steady. Oh, and re wait, regarding, regarding the hard life, my yeah. father grew up with a big family in the uh, agriculture part of California. So, 
what I'm trying to say that I've never been able to finish because I keep mm-hmm. always getting slammed for saying the beginning of it is your hardship is relative to your personal uh, ex- the way you see the world. Where one kid will see the world, oh, I had a terrible childhood, blah, 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 blah. And, and his brother will say the exact opposite. I had a great childhood. Everything was wonderful. They grew up in the same place, they, but two different people. See? Yeah. So yeah, that's oh, that's a personal. And, uh, okay. Uh, and what? And then I try to go on with it and say, right, but go ahead. The I'm food good. sources were not tainted. The water source True. was not tainted. They didn't have fucking Rockefeller medicine fucking with them. They didn't have goddamn companies poisoning every fucking thing. They did have other types of poisons. So uh, uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But. They weren't world travelers like us. Very few of those people really went anywhere. A lot of them just grew up and stayed where they were. They lived their life. So hardship was relative to the person that did it. And one guy, you know, oh, I couldn't do a day's work. Like me, being a cowboy, I couldn't do that. Hot horse riding, all that. To you, you did that. So that was your thing. But me, hitchhiking, shit, I'd race you across the United States if you were on a bus. Because sometimes I could get there faster. Yeah, I used to talk to Vegas. I mean, a buddy of mine, uh, when we were 14, beat the bus well, in Tulsa. But, but Vinny, all I mean is, is just that you're, something hard to you might be simple to me. And we came from the same lifespan. So we look at hardship in our own singular way. And, you, and I just get kind of riled when I hear people talk, oh, how bad it was 100 years ago. You weren't here 100 years ago. And if life was so bad, why did people live it? And I'm every, not far and, and, removed from 100 and, years, when you really, uh, nor you. When neither you am I, right. It. But the people that raised me, were their hardships didn't, uh, it didn't consume them so that all they did was snivel about how tough it was in, it in my day. No, I didn't grow up with all that shit. So I don't have a good history of people whining about the childhood. My folks didn't do it. My grand folks didn't do it. So, hmm. When I was a little bitty boy, I lived with my grandma and grandpa in Arkansas. Oh, County. I how was, cute. You know, and my grandpa had a smokehouse. He had a, a forge for a, his blacksmith in there. Uh, he did all his own, made all his own leather work, you know, the harnesses and reins and um, and then the blacksmithing is the horseshoes and making uh, – all any number of other things that mm. uh, you do in there, and ha- I remember that thing handle. <laughs> It'd be a blowing boy at turn. Strong as the bull yeah. and talented, right? Yeah, basically they they produced everything. Yeah, that they yeah. consumed. Hey, there's the things like uh, yeah. well that uh, used to. Some yeah. people even you know grow their own grains for to take to the mill, but. Uh, generally, you know, they were, if I remember what they might have been buying, because my grandma made her own butter. Yeah. So she'd probably buy sugar, coffee, and flour. And, uh, my grandpa grew put it, five acres of field corn for feeding the animals. Then uh, the garden, I wonder if I could measure it off in my mind how big it was. Um, it was bigger than um, an average uh Yard, front and back, it, let's see, a thousand, let me see, one, two, three, four. I'm going to say somewhere maybe at least 6,000 square feet of garden. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty good. That's bigger than anybody's yard generally unless you you got a bigger uh, plot. But you get into the crunched up cities and yeah, yeah. They're, you know, you're looking at maybe a thousand square foot front yard, just a little patch. So anyways... It probably I don't know I'd have to I'd have to think about that. Don't put me on that six thousand square feet. I'm probably going crazy with math here in the wrong way. Um, people was producing for themselves. Now, if you if you look out, say the four miners went out to California and then they're out there and they're mining for gold and they got all this arsenic and uh, no telling what all the uh, mercury and and you know they're just trashing it off into the water and crapping in it and there's uh fred down the downstream right there and he's all like his skin's uh his fingernails is all black and falling off and his 
skin's ashen, and it's like, wow, what happened to him? Somebody changed his climate. You got when I was, you know, let's see here. When Vinny was, PG was a little bitty boy, his grandma brought him a cute little thing, silver bells hanging on a string. She told him it was his ding-a-ling-a-ling string. And don't forget, Grim did throw up the link with the climate noun. Yeah, I got it open. Okay. But I didn't get well, if you feel it. like reading and talking, why don't you read that in there? I I posted it. I posted it on the notes for our hardcore twenty-seven net. All right. Check us well, out I got every to, time. I got to ask you though. Yeah. Ask a question. You. Yeah, I asked you a question. What is the uh, what is specifically the problem that you're having with the climate the word climate where it's a being applied that is well uh, i'll give you a parallel that might okay. explain this in a little bit more detail okay the internal revenue service comes along back a few years back and they decided that they needed more money well how are we going to get more money and one of the brainiacs within the organization thought Hey, let's upgrade the word wages to include a man's labor. And the other guys went, how much will it bring? So went, shit, loads of money. Let's do it. So what in the beginning, wages, earnings, was an investment, was a return on an investment. But it got broadened to cover more people because, hey, they wanted more money. So they... They change the meaning of the definition to suit the crime they're going to do. Income, and income was not not your labor. Income is uh, the uh, yeah, that's the word I was looking. For. That thank yeah, you, Vinny. The income was yeah. was the uh, not wages. Yeah, the investment, yeah. Ah, yeah, wages. Oh, thank wages you. Wages are are uh, an exchange of your labor that right. you would income. receive. I was, not income. Not no, income. the word income is the word I in, meant, but I said right. Wages, yes, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, stone. income is is. Is uh, misused to, okay. uh, to, yeah. be able, yeah. to be able to call tax upon a, a man's living wage. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah and it's, it's taking same. from your production. It would be like the government coming in, uh, representatives of the government, whatever, and uh, coming to your 6,000 square foot garden and your five acres of corn. Uh, pull a calf off uh, off the mama that you're milking, and some hogs and chickens and what all not what not, and say we've got to have a portion of your wage right here. This what you're what you're doing, you receive back. You're so if you're working for somebody, they might give you some coins, right, for for the working. But what you're produced for your own gain, for your own uh, whatever. What's the word I'm looking here for here uh, to uh, Consist your in life, your consistency. Your, I mean, your life consistence is the word. Sustenance. Substance. Sustenance. You. The, you know Thank you. Yes. what what you need to survive through nature. Right. And they whether they've found a way to make money yeah. off all of our necessities. Right. It's fucked your up. Food. Yeah. Your clothes, water. Your water. Air. Everything. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, they've they've gone into all that even, but. Uh, that's on the outside. I mean, uh, like here, I got a well, a water well, so yeah. no need to worry about it. For you, uh, you lucky prick. Right. Well, what about right. for, what about somebody who lives in a 16-floor apartment building? You know, <clears> in, t- in town. Well, we don't have that. They've got a new millage tax that they're wanting to put on the water that people got city water there because they're putting in smart meters. To, wow, so they got to pay for all that. Right. Now, Chloe just had a water leak that was... I mean, super duper expensive uh, because it was leaking and nobody knows. So I don't, I don't think a smart water meter is going to cause the same uh, thing as uh, the smart uh, electric meter, right? I don't know. Um, what's what? What's the source of tested. your water meter? What does it do? It's uh, like I don't this... have one, but the people there in town do. So they're buying their water from the the Clinton Water Department. There you go. One guy, he's always protesting about the millages. He's fighting about the library millage, which was, yeah, that, somebody should have went to prison behind all that. Built this big, fine, fine library and this and that, and uh, now they didn't get money to, 
to even run it. How do you go about that? It's that that Roger Hooper that uh, got county judge in here. I tried to warn people about him. I can explain it. Not about I, getting federal money. I can explain it, but I don't know if you'll understand it. All right, I'm going to I'm going to show you this. All right. 106 years ago, the U.S. Congress sold out to the freaking banks. They let the the, uh, central bank install a central bank in Washington, D.C., so that the United States, instead of printing its own money, has to buy it from a third party. And this third party has racked up 106 years worth of debt that isn't printed. It's just accumulated on expectation, promise. And there's no gold standard. <laughs> the money even says, in God we trust. Fiat currency. And there's 50 ways to explain this. And it all goes back to one simple thing. Fractional reserve banking practices. And if that's the way you operated your business, the government would shut you down and put you in a hole forever. But the government runs their business that way. There you go. The 1913 uh, Federal Reserve Act, mm. uh, previous to that, throughout the, the history of the United States of America, there had been uh, central uh, banks' charters, and they would expire, and then they'd have to you know, go back for renewal. Jackson, in his deathbed, had said that uh, he says, I killed the bank. But no, they laugh at him and put him on the $20 bill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell everybody, yeah. tell everybody how you killed, yeah. how you killed the bank, buddy. So, I mean, it, it, those are pre, 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 uh, pre, I can't even talk, precursors anyways, predecessors of the, uh, the modern uh, Ponzi scheme. It's been this, been running Ponzi schemes. You go back to the, to the wars, the, uh, France uh, with Napoleon and uh, and Wellington and well, who were involved in that, but who was given to lend money to both sides <laughs> all through back all, forever and ever and ever. It don't even matter their name. No. Uh, there, no. there, there's there's a lot of people. Let's let's say uh, let's say that uh, I invented the wheel, rubber wheel. Why? My family for generations would carry on that fine tradition, and they'd be, well, before you know it, they might be calling me a wheel ride or something, and then that would be our name, right? Or Silverstein, or Smith, or Baker, Butcher, all that stuff. Hmm. But when you're doing something is really paying off, I mean, because, well, it's crooked, you know, but you got everybody hoodwinked. And you go on for generation after generation down the family is going to continue doing this. I mean, why would you quit? Well, I think I want to be a candlestick make, baker, uh, maker instead of a banker. So, uh, father. Yeah, right. He says, oh, yeah. And then, oh, I'm an anti-Semite because I said that these Kazarian uh, converts to uh, what, what do you call the religion? Judaism? I believe so, yeah. Christian, right? The and, Christian church is based on that, right? Well, yes, exactly. Now, so the, the, uh, the Bible says that uh, to Israel. Yeah. Israel that, wasn't uh, in the Bible. How could it have been in the Bible? Yeah, Israel is a man's name. His name oh, okay. is changed. Jeez, I'm okay. thinking And then country. that's where it's all it's Bible it, 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 it did become a, 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 a used as for a country and a region mm. and mm. a kingdom. There's you know, there's lots of different history stuff. Thanks for telling uh, me, because I don't read right. the Bible. I didn't know. Right. I'm innocent. So, <laughs> all right, so what was I saying there about Israel? About oh, some uh, guy uh, in the Bible uh, named Israel that yeah, I and then didn't recognize. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. So, yeah, <laughs> so for, for uh, thousands of years, there's... Uh, been peoples in parts of the world, right? Mm -hmm. So they say then the Jews scattered throughout the world and then came back to their homeland. <laughs> but listen, listen. Yeah. If you uh, look at the Semitic people, mm -hmm. then uh, unless you want to say that uh, somehow they were white, 
And there's no, and I, I don't believe so from the history I've read. I'll wait for your phone call. I'll stall, right, I'll stall a second. But not from the history I read, the Semitics are of the darker persuasion. But, you know, you mix blood over a couple thousand years and you can just about come up with any combination you can imagine, I suppose. That's but, right. But uh, the, the, one more Obama's thing. Related hey, to me. Hey, but one more thing. The truth be told, if you stand an Israeli citizen next to a Palestinian citizen and you dress them exactly the same, I don't know which which guy's from where. Really? But yeah, I I can't tell your an mother was was Jewish. Yeah, you I, look white. I know. Uh, I, you I don't know. even look Mexican. Your dad was was Mexican. Pale, yeah, pale. Oh, it was a it's a weird. The yeah, heritage more is of so scattered. Uh, descended from more of the aristocratic uh, lineage of uh, from you know the, the conquistadors to Spain, the the people that came and you know and then yeah, and I, filtered in the bloodline with the I, with the natives and became brown. So yeah. I mean the the Spaniards came, they were white, right? But now apparently there's right. So anyway, blonde haired and blue eyed Spanish girls, come on. Yeah. And I'm but not anyway, talking so about Mexico. They're white. What? Yeah, they, they, you you are of uh, of uh, have uh, Jewish ancestry and probably yeah, from I think what, from Russia, my yeah, mother's I, side. I can imagine yeah. that uh, most Caucasians in America might have some bit of spattering of uh, of uh, whatever Semit, Semitic blood. See, this is my brother. He's all like real strong. on no, these uh, these is Israelites are uh, they're Jews. I said. And they're converts. They're <laughs> yeah. Right? But the Jews came, and so they got, you know, how do you become a Jew? If your mother's a Jew, then you're mm-hmm. born, you're a Jew. Mm-hmm. So, but then there was, of course, uh, uh, if you're going to become a Jew as a nation up there in, in Kazakhstan, why not? Uh, I, uh, we better have some real Jews here so we really know what this, uh, is, this Jewish uh, religion we're going to convert to because we don't want to have this. Uh, it would be very beneficial to be Jewish. Because we can work with the Muslims and the Christians, right? Now the Christians, what it there's uh they, there's certain this won't, the mainstream say uh, Israel is you know uh, this land is promised to uh, to the Jews. Is, uh, but they, it's a story. There's yeah, it's so story. much in there that that is left out to make. The narrative that they want. Yeah. Well, the Bible yeah. says I, yeah. that's where I was at. Yeah. The Bible said that he, God could raise up stones. You know, and there's a lot to indicate that the, with all these different ways of going about life that the, the Israelis did, Israelites, the uh, Israel, the the Jews, the Judeans, because there's tribes, right? All these brothers descended, and these twelve tribes arose, arose. Ten of them are supposed to be scattered somewhere across the world, and there. So there's uh, there's two tribes then in Judea, which was uh, I think the Northern Kingdom, and uh, lots of conflict. They wanted all these ways to go through the world. Well, if we had judges, if we had judges, God, it, it would be. That's what I got a little sword. Well, <laughs> they, they said, God, if we if we had kings like everybody else, we would be a, a that's what we'd be a great nation and <laughs> magnifying God and on and on and on. There's they, they, some people call them dispensations, so, but anyway, so all these people here and they've moved all about. So there they land up there, probably two or three of them. I don't know, but uh, these they they were really mean people. These Khazarians. Uh, Warlike, I mean bloody. I imagine they probably uh, invented scalping and exported it and sold it to the Indians. Today. Okay. I don't know. Right. I wasn't around then. Either. That's why. That's why Indians started scalping because these uh, these uh, traders came over. The powers that the trading companies, you know, hey, we need to uh, we need to get rid of some of these guys because they're in their way. And how do you know you got them? Well, bring a scalp. Isn't history wonderful? The stories yeah. that you're told without any physical proof to back it up, just the stories usually make sense. They sound, they sound intelligent. They're they're well thought. Like the thing about the lemmings last the last time, you can make anything sound possible if you say it correctly, Vince. 
And I'm not saying people didn't get scalped, and I'm not saying that your story isn't true. I'm just saying that there's also the possibility that all these things were exaggerated and were very rare. But when you write about something and pass it on in stories, and here's the book that it came from, it builds an audience over time. Now we've replaced all that with the Internet, but there's still a lot of people holding on to the, to the printed world that don't want to lose it to the electronic world that could be, you know, told however you want to tell it, depending on who's talking. Well, people take the Bible and beat it like a, a and use it as a weapon and trying to uh, show that that is their, their heritage, their right. And uh, this is no, the, the, the Bible is a condemnation of man well, from the Jews on. But do so you, after, do you after believe, the Jews failed, go ahead. But, don't you un you understand that the the book is written so uh, mysteriously to the way that I can understand today that I would need somebody to explain what the fuck all that means because it doesn't translate to me. It's just a lot of words that don't fit together. <laughs> well, I've got uh, I've got a strong thesaurus and uh, right exactly that's what I'm saying. All right, all right, and, all right, all right. And, uh, yeah. Now. See, so, and then uh, there's history, uh, like the works of Josephus. Okay. And then there's other works. See, you know where you learn the uh, what what's learnable, what we can uh, know, and then sometimes have to interpret, like you know, with the Egyptians for a long time, and especially well, let's take the uh, uh, into Mexico, the Aztecs, the Mayans into Central America, and the Incas down to uh, South America. That the cultures there, all that was lost uh, in books. And a lot it wasn't of stuff lost, was it was destroyed. destroyed. Yeah. yeah, destroyed, which Nothing means it's lost, lost to us. Vincent. We, yeah. bomb, we bomb history away yeah. so that yeah. and put something else in, in its place so that in 100 years we can tell the story we want to tell. It's sad. It, the world is a freaking mess. Good God. You know, and I'll tell you something else. Being as I am a Jew, and not only am I a Jew, Cirque's not a Jew. Me and Cirque have, we don't believe in all this crap that, you know, it seems that we would believe in because we met in each other and we married and all this. But we, between me and her, the rest of this stuff is just a lot of comedy. You know, Jew and Dane and all this other shit, these names and titles and positions and accusations and all this crap where, where people are throw at each other all the time. It, it's for amusement. It's not not to be taken to heart, you know. When you do that and you start feeling bad, you lose. And words well, and words. I, I know I don't like to admit it, but if words are said in the right order to me, for example, Mister Vincent, uh, under the right circumstances, I'll take them to heart too. But I didn't think I did, but I did, and I had to take a look at that and go, "Wow, what the fuck got into me?" Not what was wrong with you, see, but that is a lesson that some of us never get to. It's not about the other guy. It's about how you look at that, whatever that may be. And it's a, it's like what Mary says about personal responsibility isn't about what you do. It's about how you interact with the outside world. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I'm fortunate in, in so many ways being uh, way out here in the country that um, I can fully choose who I interact with here. It, it, exactly. Do you know how many people are in the world that don't really understand? They're not trapped where they are. They think they're trapped. They've got nowhere to go. they got to stay where they are to survive. If they leave, they're good. they could die. Well, you could get a, hit by a toilet bowl fallen from an airplane in your house. So you can always die. That that is, shouldn't be the issue, but the, it seems to be the, the biggest argument they'll put up. You know, is, oh, I like my stability and I don't want things to change because that's where I'm at now, so I can say it because I believe it. I like my stability and I don't want that stability to change. But if it does, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> You know, I it's just the the mentality I've always had. If if wherever I'm at isn't cool, 
now I'm at the age to know that it's not cool because I'm in it. So I need to be somewhere where I can make things cool. And if I can't do it where I'm at, I need to go somewhere else. It's not them. It's me. Well, we're in a, a state of de-evolution or devolution, um, in decline, entropy. We're in a state of blame the other guy for what you think is wrong with you is what we're in. Yeah, but I don't. I, I don't think I you do. Get no. that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I don't I, think I you do. I get that a lot onto me. Uh, mm. You know, it's like, mm. uh, Joe, he's he's like, I guess about preteen now. Mm. He's, now. He's all like, and he thinks he knows everything. <laughs> and, I don't, yeah. and, and I really, I think, keep myself toned down to where I, because like, just take Chess Gouda for a, a, an mm. example. Mm. He's uh Bloom, 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 throwing all this stuff out there. Bloom, 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 bloom. I don't do that, no. But when somebody wants to address a certain topic, yeah. And I think I'm uh, fairly informed on, on many, most, most anything. I guess. And you're stubborn as a fucking pack of mules, too. You will not well, budge I will, when you yeah, believe I'm, you're I'm right. Not lose, I'm nope. not letting anybody use the logic on me. Trying to you know, give you a little you pat on be, the back. You yeah. won't let me say. Oh no. Uh-huh. I understand. Thank uh-huh. you. But these people think, oh, yeah, yeah, I can just say anything. And uh, it's true now because I said it and it's got facts <laughs> attached. Well, uh, yeah, it's all relative you gotta, to your yeah. information. Yeah. It's like somebody saying you're crazy because you said climate or, or uh, yeah, climate or, or even Kim. Oh, what about right? when I doubt the world is round? I go, well, maybe it's not round. How do I know it's round? You told me it's round. That doesn't make it fucking round. It just means you tell me you believe what you think. Okay, book, you're, you're entitled to all that, but what I get a little hot under the collar about is I'm not entitled to my not understanding what I'm looking at. It's always, oh, well, if you don't believe it's round, then you think it's flat. Well, not really. Not sure about that either. I don't know, like Benny. Snow, huh. What if it's a snow globe? What what I mean is I I don't really know I I have information but it's roundish proof I have yet to see proof visual something I can really go wow that's the Earth all right from a you know from a spaceship out in space looking down on us that's exactly what that is but they keep been no wait 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 let I me make my complaint here. they they okay. make all these claims fucking four countries have claimed to go to the freaking moon in the last 50 fucking years, and yet not one fucking picture of the Earth from the moon. Not one. Nothing. That wasn't generated from a computer. So, being as I grew up in the Kennedy era, where what you saw was not what happened, I am very skeptical about everything I have ever been told, about everything I have ever been told. Mm-hmm. Everything, everything turns out to be some fucking form of shit at the end, and I get mad and start cussing. <laughs> because not because I'm mad at anyone is I think it's out of disappointment. It's like where do you go? What when you know the crap that we all collectively know, the group of us, right? Where do you go from here? What do you do with this vast knowledge we entertain? You can't use it, but, well, I can use it with my wife. I can talk to her about it and talk to half a dozen people in this room, in the chat room. But in reality, in real life, where, where does this stuff take me? Well, if you're like me, you'd be getting called a Democrat or something. Mm. I think I'd probably be called a Republican by <laughs> a Democrat. <so. laughs> yeah, you can't. With. I called. Yeah, he came back today. Even uh, hey, uh, Democrat, uh, this you say you're Democrat. Be proud. Mm. Yeah. Then, he, then he wanted to give uh, his analogy on the whole thing. You could always use your your Trump hat, you know, for target practice. <laughs> He's got a Trump hat and a Trump mat. I like um, that best because I can wipe my feet on it. Mm. Trump Listen, toilet he, seat. He's a mean, tough old hillbilly boy. I mean, yeah. 
he is big. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. his hands are about twice as big as mine. Yeah, but and you got to rough, But yeah. I got, look, you can't have no back down. I understand sometimes that. Yeah. You, sometimes yeah. you need to kind of peel off a little bit. <laughs> sometimes uh-huh. you can't back up. If if you give off the, that you ain't got no grit, then you don't have any respect. So, yeah, yeah I like got it. Me I and him, it. we're thumping all the time. He likes <laughs> But he has a lot of control because, I mean, he could probably just break me in half one good punch. But yeah. Yeah. I put, he told me today, he says, uh, man, I don't bruise. And I've got all kinds of bruises on me from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, if, uh, if it didn't hurt. Now, I've, uh, I've slowed, I've said, I said like this. Yeah. If uh, I'm not saying I'm going to stop you, but I think I'll stop you from making it a habit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much pressure to price. See, so if I applied too much, yeah. then he might respond back with a, a crippling blow. Yeah, so, putting yeah. you in a coma. Well, but he hurts me, so I've got to give him some hurt back, right? Well, that's what I mean about different worlds, too, Vinny. You know, is the way that guy would hear the shit that these Democrat fucking wackadoodles support would be the way I just. In, you know, described it without saying anything in particular. That's why they they just take the whole thing because they're Republican. They yeah. got standards and well, all the details and shit. They're just uh, they're banter. They don't mean anything. But his crowd grew up way different than the people growing up now. Because I I came from you know a father that was like that. And, well, they're still uh, country here, and yeah, Kevin, he yeah. as a boy, he yeah. was he gone to all the states around here coon hunting. He was hmm. a champion. He <laughs> had dogs worth thousands of dollars, right? And, but he ain't really gone uh, traveling like uh, you and I throughout this land, and you've gone on to uh, other lands overseas there. But anyways, another friend of mine, he's real influential in this part of the world. But he's still just a big fish in a little pond. And there's a whole (laughs) ocean out there that he doesn't have any idea about the kelp or the coral or anything else growing out there, right? Yeah. But he knows about the algae and the the muck and the mud here in the river right now, right? So people have their ideas (laughs) of what he is, is. And then condition that with television and, and, you know, the general media uh, and the school, going to school, uh, Logan, he's gone off to school now, five uh, preschools, getting them conditioned mm-hmm. to enter into the world there and, and uh, of servitude and to see, be exploited. Yeah, and, and see, then well, think it's okay and make excuses to vote for somebody like Trump. And it's, and he's no Christian, but uh, mm-hmm. Trump neither, certainly, but my friend I'm talking about. Uh, oh. But then the Christians, this, this sect is uh, right wing Christians want to. Uh, deify this man uh, nearly that uh, he is he's righteous and godly and doing God's work in this sort of thing huh. and he has uh, moral depravities that uh, I, I don't know how any preacher would would ever not call him out but I know preachers are saying blessed be the name of the Trump why well it's all this conditioning Oh, yeah. Remember that okay. the, pulpit, as as, the pulpit has been used as a weapon for a for long, very, time. Very long time. Yeah. But also here in America, it worked. It's worked so throughout history so well that they, boy, they steamrolled it here. You know, in the in the early days of the settlement and the, and the expansion, you know, even into Tennessee in the uh, the seventeen hundreds there, when when my family went that part of the world from Virginia, not very far in today's world, but uh, that was quite a trap back then so anyways they had uh, uh what i think they called circuit uh preachers or whatever but they'd roam about because they want to carry the, the that uh, steadfastness that came from uh, being a, a follower right hmm. but then you got hmm. these different sects that uh, had their own ideas <laughs> of what this and that was yeah. but where'd that come yeah. because you know could you imagine, oh, I'm going to go out and dupe people. You'd have to be a, a zealot and really believe it to be able to put the dedication in and go. So they were sold the bill of goods. And, and it's, it goes along. They take their little thing and build it up and make a uh, campaign. 
Well, they've, they've used religion for all throughout history, and America is no different. Well, and then like in the, or in the beginning, you brought up the Masons, right? And I also agree with that philosophy that the, the middleman does not know what the executives know. The, the janitor will buy the fucking White House, but he can't pay the bill. So, hmm, you gotta, you've gotta weigh these ideas. <coughs> and 420 coming up. Well, there you go. And there's brain food. But you gotta weigh all these ideas as however you think, of, right. however you believe or think that you're hearing it. <coughs> and I don't, I for one, I just don't think <coughs> we all hear the same thing. Exactly the same way. Everybody will take it a little differently than the next guy. Even if we agree ab about the core of it, there will be little strings attached that we'll disagree about or we'll, we'll banter over, trying to figure out where does this fit. And But we've got this one-size-fits-all mentality about life, and it's just crap. The one yeah, size the problem is is the belief <clears throat> itself, right? right People right. want to say I believe, and then therefore hmm. uh, it is is right and righteous and obvious. Or I believe something else if it was right. But well, what you, know, you made me all a okay. product of Vinny, the whole Vinny, world way. What uh, you so. made me think of when you were saying my belief, and you're talking your your reference is Bible related. I don't even know who to accredit my my core thing that I follow today. It's really simple. It's one sentence, and there's no leaders, no rulers. It just says, do no harm. Yeah, there you go. And it's really hard to, to do because you. it's just like a crime. You can't catch a thief until he steals something. Then you've got a thief to, to catch or to whatever. But until the, it happens, there's nothing to be done. So... You know? So we live in this world where we believe ideas are real, but they're not. They're just ideas. And we take them all to heart, and they take up space in our thinking and in our behavior. And we join groups to protect ourselves from this society that we're fueling with our labor. <laughs> it's insane. I do not understand the uh, the reasoning behind it, if there is any. It just seems like a bunch of people accommodating a bully so that they can stay out of prison. And that is not good enough for me. <laughs> but I guess we lost Vinny on that one. Uh, 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 I'm here with you. I'm, I'm over here looking for, I think, it, well, uh, uh, he so, was a reading. But there's, there was, uh, no, I'm, I'm looking. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You, you said that to do no harm. Yeah, right? simple. There's, there's more. There is more an obligation to not, not only just not do any harm, but to uh, bring a contribution of good. Well, I haven't whether, got that whatever, far in whatever, the manual. Whatever to whatever aspect. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah, you you've you've got to bring something. You bring a. Uh, some people might think it'd be school. Let's just look look the, uh, what you do for uh, uh, the doctor. Or and Hannah, right? So you bring a, a that that's balance, yeah. You know, you're not yeah. like, yeah. I mean, it's all pieces, right? You don't well, just like I am the good. No, you bring and parts and Cirque, pieces and you put it has, where you can. Yeah, Cirque has a high energy that the animals um, respond to on a level that I don't think Cirque recognizes, but I do. And because when I'm home all day with the animals, they they behave differently with me alone than they do with her when we're together. So I recognize what I do because I can see both sides, not just one. Where Sir can't see what goes on when she's not here because she's not here. <laughs> so I've got that advantage. You know? But I don't know if it's a bragging thing or just a, a, an observation thing. I'm observing and reporting. But some things are kind of like, wow, it's hard to believe I can do these things. You know, like See, this, the, this like, idea of belief cat. is not a good thing, right? How do you mean? Well, because it makes it uh, uh, definitive. That, well, my, my buddy, you're either a Democrat 
or you're Republican. You're oh you're yeah, the no. Or uh, you're for me. That's a line. Yeah. This is yeah, right. No, not I don't, really. A I line. don't think so either. So uh, to say I believe, yeah. What then you could probably ought to say after that if if uh, it may be singing this song. If uh, <laughs> I mean, you believe like I believe, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Vinny. Yeah. Hansel would be proud of you. Muhammad. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, well, you know what? It's, it's Wait, wait. Let me go like... to add just a little bit before I go back into the church <laughs> over here. Let me add a little bit more to that, Yo. Uh, this idea of belief. Because then people set the, uh, this realm in uh, um, region, climate, <laughs> of See, uh, there you go. ideology, yeah. Yeah, right? Uh, and then... Then the friction comes because, look, I'm not a, I'm, I'm apolitical. And he's all, well, that makes you a political then. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, <No>. sport. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, all right. And then that, that, then if he wants to say my belief is being bothered by your non belief, then, uh, that, that's causing a friction, right? Uh, absolutely. Friction Always causing love. heat. Oh, I, was, like, you know, I, I told you, but I didn't tell anybody. I think I told somebody. Yeah, I did drop it in chat. Hmm. Amazing. Hmm. So we're, you and I are both into our uh, second half uh, on towards the century mark. Mm-hmm. And uh, I learned a new way of starting fire. It's amazing, man. Oh, I yeah. You're on a YouTube that. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's fire roll. It's the friction. Mm-hmm. Uh, cotton ball and you can also use a lot of other materials, the uh, fibers, and the, but uh, you can get you a couple of sticks and make them flat. But anyways, you uh, roll out your cotton or your fiber and uh, put ashes on it. There's some other stuff that works too. Ashes, and you roll it up, and then you let's see if we can hear this. I could, I could actually do one. But can you hear that? Of course, I can hear that. It's in that. Okay. Uh, okay. Mr. So then you Mr. Fire Starter. Then you go faster, and I was like, "Wow, that is amazing!" I, I put first time, just real quick, and all the all the time that people spend on survival out there trying to start a fire. Everybody wants to carry a ferrule rod. I like to carry a big lighter and a zippo lighter, but yeah, man, and eyeglasses. So I've always got um, I'm always prepared. Yeah. That is amazing how easy. I wonder how long that has no been sun. known to, to mankind throughout history using that friction like that. They, you can take uh, bamboo. There's rubbing the sticks together. You're getting the uh, the idea of the friction, the heat from the friction, right? But wow. you're adding that other adding that other uh, element. The other element, a modern element other, or an other ancient element. element. That's what well, I mean. Is you got cotton. Let's just keep it simple. You use uh, oh. cotton and put some ashes into a third of it and then roll it up and roll it back and forth till it binds up. And then you put it through your boards and you yeah. roll it, roll it, roll it. Mm-hmm. Back hey, and, forth, roll it back, and it just turns yeah. heat right there and it causes it to ignite. But do you think in 100 years that history will look back on our generation and think of how primitive we were? A hundred years from now? Of course. You know? Maybe 50. Uh, you know, they'll be saying, do you realize that people used to live out in the what, the woods, the country, the whatever they're going to call it then, because mm. everybody will be all piled up in pods. Yeah. 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 Well, that's, yeah. this is the, who's leading that? You would say, I would say the Democrats are leading this, but, uh, you know, Oh, come on. No, 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 no. On the outward, listen, the outward, yeah. they're, they're the extreme environmentalism. This is a big driving factor. The Center for Biological Diversity, Curon, yeah, struggling a bunch of other shit. people. Yeah, yeah they're, they're looking to remove all trace of man. And, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, there's too many people in the world. Yeah, well, you know what? Do a, do a search on the population of Poland. And I'll tell you what. You're not going to find in Poland is all the problems that you have in America or England or Denmark because they're doing exactly what people are saying can't be done. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. 
I seen a video of two Polish guys that had this black guy stop in front of their fancy freaking silver sports car-y looking thing. And the black guy stands in front of the car so they can't drive. So they both get out and the smaller one knocks him on his ass. And <laughs> then they get back in the fucking car and drive away. They're in Germany. It says, we're, these guys were from Poland. They're not German. Went, whoa. <laughs> well, that explained that. Because in certain countries have calmed the population down to follow certain dictates. And other countries went, fuck you and your fucking dictates. We're staying like we've always been. There you go. I'm trying to find this from uh, one of the, Ali. One of the few countries that doesn't have a history to hang on to is America. And the ones that have have been fucked with all this diversity crap and conned into mixing their populations with a bunch of mutts. There you go. And then the results are right there in front of your face. Look at the disaster Sweden's in. And then they get this freaking Greta little rich kid fucking running around the world telling everybody not to run around the world. Fucking hypocrites. She's not going to school because George Soros took her childhood away from her by building a nuclear plant somewhere. <laughs> and, and people believe uh, just the, whatever. It's insane to me. Sounds like I lost my partner name over there. Man, so reading, he's I'm, searching I'm for the stuck, answer. I, I, I'm just going to have to scrap the whole thing there. Well, should I do the rest of my show in, in my redneck voice, Vinny? What do you think? Do I fool you with my redneck voice? You know what? Hmm. What? I was uh, over at some... Uh, some uh, uh, there's a TV show on. What was the name of it? I don't even remember. The I Ranch. The yeah. Ranch. The Ranch. Terrible now, shit. I saw some have of you that. I've, only, I've, I've seen a piece of it one time before, so it's only the second time. Yeah. So the people there are in it from the 70s show, if you ever watched yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So but it's what, still uh, yuck. It's hard. The horrible. guy, uh, uh, Kush, Kushner, what's his name? Kushner? Okay, Kush, you tell me, Kushner? Bosco, I know all the, the names. Guy, I'm asking, I'm asking. I don't him. know all these freaking actors. All right, names. wait a minute, wait a minute. He married Demi Moore, okay. you know what I'm talking about? I know the guy's face, I know Let that much. Let me go look but Let me go look anyway, so what is your point? You're talking about a he's terrible He's in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. in this show, yeah. right? Yeah. And he's supposed to be doing this old, old good old boy southern accent. Mm. And he is not pulling it off. It looks like it's oh. kind of you know, Oh. It's, it's hard to imitate a southerner, is especially it? if you're a Yankee. Yeah, but oh. I tell you, I tell you, it's easier for a southerner oh. to... To imitate a northerner, ah. the way they talk up there, you know, it's all mm. kind of like you just got squinchy butt cheeks mm. up, talk like this. So. No, 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 I, I can't. No, I can't. I can't you feel the talk. Oh, I just can't talk like a Yankee. I ain't got it in me. You but can't park squeak, the car. Squeak, you can't park squeak. the car. What's that? Oh, there you go. Park the car. Park the car. Yeah, get to yeah. it. I give you a dollar. I gave up on trying to find my nice $100. Jewish I wine. Oh. I want to go to Miami. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I've got a question. Is uh, yeah. Beetle? Are you listening? Beetle. I need I, I need know. ops, please. What do you I'm need? I'm gonna see. What What is I, I, that? Ops, question. please. I need help. I need help from. What does ops team. mean? What does that mean? And I joke. I got a couple of good things I got from Beetle. I like it. Uh, yeah. I like uh, the, the uh, get it? No. Yeah. Huh? No. I, I don't get I don't get jokes. Jokes don't no, I don't I don't have a sense I of humor. To explain it to you, son. I, I'll have to go to the dork table and borrow flashes to bring it to here. Because I have a question for what? Beetle. Beetle, we have a question for you. And I got. I'm gonna make sure because he might be out of working right now and just. He might. He was there. here earlier yeah. though, but yeah, he don't. Yeah, I see him texting in the thing from ants to dogs about ten after the hour. Hmm. So I'm gonna wait for him to well, respond. I don't okay, want to type the question. I'll ask it. Hmm. 
No. I, 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 can you say ask him a question? No. I ask him a question. <clears throat> I can't ask him a question. We got crazy or something. Anyway. All uh, right. Oh, Frumpy might help, too. Hold Frumpy. on, no, this is serious business. This is serious business right here. Uh, serious um, business. I might have it figured out. Uh, get a flashlight. I'm gonna it's going to go flashlight. It's going to look down you, the thing and tell you. I was, yeah, I was telling you. Oops. Uh, did they break it? Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, you mean for Grim, right? That uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, video, good time to Grim. That's another thing. Uh, eating, what? just eating. Yeah. Why? Thanks, uh, listen to the deal she sure. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. I got to ask a question. Okay. No, not for Grimner, for Beetle. All right. So, anybody that ever burned propane mm-hmm. and have a trailer, oh, yeah. furnaces are oh, that suck it up. I never use it. So this is a big spot here. With uh, I'm going to take out. I think I got it figured out. I'm looking here now. But, uh, yeah, I had to ask the Beetle a question on the toilet. Wow. It looks like it's just a uh, couple of bolts in here. I got the outside unbolted, unhooked the the propane, yeah. and the uh, there's uh, the flex vents, yeah. uh, tubes, you know, thing there. But are you on the toilet now? It's off. I see two. I don't think uh, there's anything else here. No, I'm not on the toilet. Okay, just it checking. It looks like it'll pull out from there. So, is there any special trick that I need to know of? In a perfect like, world, to do it yourself. There space, and I'm going to seal that hole over there because mm-hmm. I don't burn gas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, do you okay, believe? Let me in, look back and check. Do you no, believe sorry. in punishment voting? To punish your enemies? Because that's the core of what is wrong with human carbon-based life forms is that so many of the living ones want to kill other living ones. And I find it very disturbing on a life form level. The older I get, it's easier to see why you guys want to kill each other, I suppose. But, you know... Depriving another guy of of his share of the miseries, it's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> ah, I was ranting about shooting people there, B. Yeah, that's the way it's been working for a long time throughout history. But it's, how do you change it? I mean, is that what we're bring, doing? Or bring we back try, dueling we and to bring, or just bring, no. make it through there. Twenty four hours. Work. Bring back dueling globally. Every fucking where you go. And you we got a problem a with somebody, the, what you do is you go hit them in a fucking skull with a glove, and they got four hours to gather their shit and meet you out in the field. Going to shoot at each other. And whoever shoots better is going to be the big bad dog. Or the guy cowers to you and fucking doesn't accept your challenge. And I'm telling you from fucking living for 60 years, most people won't even get into the fight, let alone the get to the challenging part because the fear of that bullet in the fucking head would keep their mouth shut most of the time. And the times, and the times that it didn't, those are the ones that are prepared to fight. Kind of like a, uh, what was that movie? Purge? Yeah. Purge light. Oh, no, I don't, I don't know about all that. I saw a they purge like movie. For it was one day they do all these crimes, killing. No, 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 Vinny. What I'm saying is, we've been pussified to this freaking word game shit they do in court to take your money away from you. And I'm yeah. saying if you replace that crap with this, <clears throat> this fella insulted me in front of my wife, and he's gonna die for it. People would slow down on how they talk to you in front of your wife. As an example, this fella stole from me. He has so much time to return what he stole or he's facing me off in the field. And here is my proof of what he did. There you go. And I think the world would clean up in about 24 hours because most people would want to not engage in fucking dying over something stupid. So it would clean up all our problems. Well, I, I'll give you another example. Mm-hmm. People used to be a lot more rough and tumble in these parts out here. And 
where I live, Half Moon Mountain, had uh, and still to this day carries a, a <laughs> reputation. It, people are afraid to come out here. Either. As time goes on, and the law finally gets a hold and <coughs> nips your ears and bobs your tail, and pretty soon, hell, you get your nuts cut, and mm. you're just uh, headed to the feedlot at that point. Mm. Like well, me. if you want to keep roaming, you want you want to keep the lo- the noose off of you, right? Mm-hmm. You don't keep mm-hmm. that. You don't want to get that rope slung up, upon your horns and drug you in. No, right. Yeah, exactly. So that's that that fear, you know, slow conditioning. Right. Well, but the law they put the law. In. Look, I've I've these people that I've gone into court at for. Mm-hmm. They're trying to fight the corruption, and. And in many ways, use the uh, the same system trying to manipulate this. Well, by filing these liens and uh, what it's called spurious, spurious liens and other things, uh, mm-hmm. attaching you know where they couldn't sell their house, or whatever. But and they're going to prison because they stack the charges, right? Mm-hmm. And superseding indictments. And you know if if you want to play ball and plead guilty, like ninety eight percent of the rest of them, <laughs> yeah. You might get out of prison and not spend the rest of your life there. Yep. But if you want, if you want to engage, you got to be smart. You know, for anything that oppresses you, uh, you got to be able to take whatever you give. Like thumping nut licks over here with with my friend. Mm-hmm. You, you've got to be prepared to receive, and you got to realize that you don't want to apply more pressure than is necessary than to deter or deflect. That uh, that pain that's coming against you, right? No, the so, difference between making a point and dominating a situation. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I was just agreeing with you for a change. I thought you might like it. See, now one time I threatened to go down and smoke a joint down to Courthouse Square, but. Would that be smart? No. What would be no. what would be the uh, repercussion? Oh yeah, no. It's just no. Why poke the dragon in the eye? Right. That's right. just lame. No. I'll Provo- tell you, you one know, thing though. It's always one thing. carry a documentation device when you do travel. I well, yeah. If I was going to travel, I would live differently. That's. But where I live, I I've, I've got a just an old Nokia phone for Colin Cirque and my, a few close people, and that's it. No, no uh, smartphone, no banking, no, no uh, pictures, nothing. This thing is just a relic to keep in touch with the wife if I'm out too long. She changes her mind and wants to add something to the to the uh, list that I'm using. <laughs> but I wanted to, yeah, ask a little uh, bit more clarification when you said something about what uh, somebody says to you in front of uh, uh, your wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, would you, yeah, t- broaden that out to, uh, okay. What are the, I'm just saying that, that as people, okay, we've been pussified and we accept words and sentences from other people that they should never even speak. Okay, and I use the wife as an example because got one. All right, let me try something different. Uh, no, I like the idea of your wife because this is, uh, dueling has to do with honor. Oh, yeah. Sure. So, oh, yeah. So yes, if, if you're breaking bread with me in my house and then you say something rude to my wife, uh, that deserves a challenge. You either you apologize for what you did wrong or you go out in the back and you fucking die over it. I think that the person that would, you know, accidentally spew an insult would think twice about the future and never say the insult in the first place. See, because the threat of the violence is usually what nine out of ten people will deal with. And then you get the one fucker like me that I don't really give a shit about your circumstances or your punishments or whatever. I, I'll deal with life the way life happens. And it's very rare. So we're talking about the uh, degree of insult. Like no, we're talking about any freaking kind of insult. That, that's what I mean. We're so common talking shit to each other, like it doesn't fucking matter, but it does. See, 
Now, me and you've had a lot. We got a lot of time talking about all this crap, so we have a better understanding of what the other guy's saying between the two of us than I anybody. Sometimes. Okay, well, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I, I know. I wonder if you hear me. What I because you think that I'm always in uh, conflict with you, but no, I'm trying to understand when i ask questions it's a radio it's, show Vinny. i, I I'm no 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 i yeah a, i i don't want to argue fight or fuss unless it's for sport then yeah yeah this is well to this, exist in a conflict no we uh you and i have the ability that we we can par back and forth until we uh can hash through most of it well, that took a lot of discussion to get your, you know, to get you and me on the same page at the same time to even we're, we're, to be yeah, bothered we're, we're with it at all. We barely get there at all at the same yeah. time, though, do we? <laughs> I see. That's what I'm saying about this one size fits all for an entire planet is it's just insane. And but yet here we fall for climate change. Why? No, 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 no. So there's more. So. All I was saying from the beginning of the show is that there's more to what we know than what we know. And then there's a lot of things that we're not in, we're not informed about that if we were informed about in an honest way that we could understand, things would be different. But it's all run on bullshit stories and education, religion, and politics to keep you all stupid. And it seems to me my understanding of the way the world operates today that if you fall victim to one of those three things, that you're generally one of the more uh, willing to die, willing to fight idiots that wants to go to war with Iran over some political crap. When it's really about who's going to steal the oil from who. Yeah, it's a terrible shame. Oh, I know. And, and when when you actually meet somebody from that place that are you know not welcome in their own home because of problems... It just comes clear that it, this isn't about, this isn't got nothing to do with people. It's got everything to do with controlling people. And, and you can't, people believe they got rights. You see, it's just such a damaged game. They've got a lot of flawed beliefs that when you try to show them their bullshit, they, they fight to protect the beast that is choking them to death. So, hmm. You know, it's like we am bored, baby. You know, we're being assimilated and, and you're just going along. You don't stop it. You won't get off. Get off the ride. It's over. <laughs> but it's 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 not as hard to not be in it as it sounds. Uh, I think that probably this is not a blanket for most people, though. Most people are obligated and... And bound. Well, there's the there's unless, the unless unless you're ready, ready to walk away with uh, the shoes on your feet. That's exactly it. Because I'm married now, I am in that group of people that are bound to their physical reality because of promises. So hey, take it with a grin, man. It's life. Don't you know? I don't want to spend all my time complaining about how fucked up it was. Well, you know what? It's not that bad. <laughs> But if I was in a situation, say, with law enforcement or finance or something like that where my mind was being abused by these pricks with suits, I can understand, but I don't agree because there's ways out of that. You just got to be willing to take them. Hey, I'm dropping a link here. This uh, I picked this up off of Facebook from uh, Just Edie, Edie Murphy. Uh, friend here at Real Liberty Media. Well, some of us really like her music, and I, I gave her some nice words. But anyways, I picked this link up here. This is, uh, and I was wanting to bring Muhammad Ali. I'll, I'll bring it all together Friday. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali and Rocky. You was talking like Rocky earlier. And, uh, yeah, talking like Rocky. Yeah. Right. So Adrian! This, this, yeah, that's him. You will, I think you'll probably like this. A professor of rock, and it's the uh, the story of I the Tiger. Oh. And uh, we was talking about who wrote the Journey, Ario, whoever it was. But we were talking about um, that one song, and he really knocked that out. Did better than original. I, I like covers. Anyways, 
I don't. I never cared for the '80s hair bands, much of them. I mean, there's mm-hmm. a song or two, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, musical taste so shouldn't be something yeah. that people have to fucking defend or well, no, justify. No, no. You and like what you like. Just, yeah, just that's what Edie said yeah. too. Matter of fact, because I don't yeah, like what you like doesn't make what you like any uh, different. It's still the same I, freaking I'm talking stuff. Talking about me, what I say. Yeah, I, but I'm, I'm voicing an opinion here, Mister. Yeah, but. Anyways, I said yeah. to her that I kind of really always considered this uh, song the uh, from Survivor, The Eye of the Tiger, as a, a kind of a generic pop, as generic pop music. And it's, but uh, how wrong I was, it turns out to be. And there's a, a great story there, uh, with this interview, and whatever his name is there, the guy that wrote the song and the singer and whatever he played in there. Like I said, I'm not a big <laughs> fan of his kind of music. But oh, no, that's it. That's, I gotta, I gotta go see who that was. Okay. That uh, that did the song. But anyways, they tuned, they wrote that song yes. to the movie, Ooh. Rocky, whatever, forty four or something. Rocky like sixteen. <laughs> 16 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky fights Putin. <laughs> but really, you will really like it. It's twenty three. <laughs> Minutes, almost 24 minutes long, is a really interesting. I see. And it gave me a there. lot of appreciation for the song copy, and there's so much more in there. And it's a, uh, this song has been done by other well, the Simpsons, uh, Family Guy, and uh, uh, there's several of them, several, uh, several shows. That, but anyways, there's a lot of powerful words in this song. Aha! Yeah. See, and that's what I've been trying to. That was tonight's point was. Words mean stuff that we don't know they mean because the definitions have been altered to fit a present-day crime. And it's the way it works. You may not see it that way out there, Mr. Listener, Miss Listener out there in Radio Land. (laughs) But that's the way I see it, dude. That's the name of the band, Survivor. And his name is uh, Jim. Yeah, he's still in the song. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I shared the link over it. This is something that listeners would uh, pick up. So let me give you the name of it. It's on YouTube. Mm, yeah. Professor of Rock. Professor of Rock. Professor That's of the, Rock. Uh, you know, Professor of Rock. Vivo is his uh, channel yeah. name. But Survivor, the story of Eye of the Tiger. Very interesting. Ah, uh, and that so, guy, he, is, yeah. he did an incredible. I'm putting it in the uh, notes interview. for you, Vincent. So you, you Incredible be interview. Happy. Okay. Yeah, so I was. I need to go. Like, get the. I'm gonna bring it in together Friday. See if I can bring all this other stuff together. I, okay. I, I well, I I posted a copy of it in the link. Cool. There's a Thank link you. in the notes for the show tonight. In good, a perfect good, yeah, world. So, so if you're listening downstream, yeah, you yeah. can pick up the links. Thank you. Uh, thank you, there, Flasheru. Yo, know, I have an idea. Everyone, so I'm smart, Michael. I'm smart. I want I respect. Mean. But my name's not Michael. Oh, that's right. I was having a Fredo moment. It's terrible. <sighs> yep. I know. You know that the mayor of New York thinks mm. being called a Fredo is an insult to Italian people? <laughs> Why? i seen a link about him doing getting all mad in the stairway about being called Fredo. Because <laughs> Fredo's the brother that fucked up killing his brother and got killed for trying to kill his brother. You know, I've watched in 19, what was it, 1970-something, I think I watched the first Godfather. Mm. That's about as far as I really went with it. Yeah, it was a uh, matter of taste, Benny. It's all right. a matter of taste. Yeah. Well, I, but yeah. I knew a kid in third grade that claimed to have read the book. <laughs> and at the time, I, I didn't pursue following <clears throat> enough, proving it he did it or didn't do it. I mean, it was a little later. Aaron Arnston, I think I was 11. And he, yeah, it was a wrong year. I, now I remember. It was I was 11. And this kid named Aaron Arnston, the school brain, who was claiming, he carried it around with him all the time. I'm reading The Godfather. And it didn't really do much. But when I saw the film, I went, holy fuck. <laughs> I, I was got, a lot I got older cotton though. balls. Yeah, yeah cotton but, balls. When it was all new, it didn't affect me because I wasn't interested in it. When I was older and I saw it, I'm like, holy shit. 
because uh, yeah, you are you can't hurt them. I'm the day of my daughter's wedding, and you ask me to do murder. Mm. Okay, That's pretty good. Okay, yeah. but I will come to you someday. Perhaps come to you and say I need a favor, and on that day. <laughs> You didn't even put cotton balls in your mouth. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, but see, when when I saw that character, it was like, holy fuck! And who knows? You know, really, you don't know anything because you're only watching movies about shit that other people are telling you. So it to me, it's just as real as Batman or freaking the Hulk. It's an entertainment source. I don't take it to heart. But a lot of these people, you know, were entertaining. So, I let them entertain. <laughs> these, these DC comics that they turned into movies, that those have been pretty good. Uh, Guardians, is it Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know. I don't, I just yeah, watch yeah, what's yeah. on That's there. a good one. Yeah, that's a that's What I can good. steal and off the internet is so pretty much uh, what I see. I've not even seen this. There might be one after the last one. I don't know, but I don't... Uh, don't go to the movies, and and I don't go to movie sites that, um, that you know hijack. Yeah, because they'll put crap on you, man. I, yeah, you know, I don't know. Just, I, no, I, I'll I, just do without. If somebody comes along one day and has a DVD, I'll say, well, I don't have a DVD player on, <laughs> well, on my computer. At the end of the show here, Grim Grim quoted me because I said words mean stuff. They, they do. It's true. But okay. And, and that's that's the simplest. That is the simplest way that I have of expressing the idea that we're getting screwed with words. That's what I mean by that. But I don't think it translated, so I thought I'd define it for you. That works. That that uh, really does work. Uh, stuff is shit. You know, shit, and that's what we live in. We live in this disposable society where you know. I think that's where me and Cert connected is we've been through this disposable society separate and then we met each other and recognized the similarities over all this political and religious and education shit. There's two other people and got nothing to do with Denmark or America or George Bush, Obama, <laughs> the queen of Denmark, you know? And I think that if other people could experience that, whatever the fuck it is, what we managed to do, that it would make their life a little bit more interesting. Because other people are the, they're what you're here for. It's not a, it's a solo thing to do it, but you're going to, you know, involve yourself with a lot of other beings along the way. So make it work, you know, make it good. And when things end, be grown up enough to know they're over. But, you know, there's a, that's a whole other principle to live by. You know what I like? Mm -hmm. I think uh, you and I. I mean, sometimes uh, I go way out of tune and in, in the off on my own deal there, and not hearing you. But, <laughs> I but know. Mostly, uh, the, yeah. but but yeah. it works. It, I think it really does yeah, work yeah, good between yeah. you. Yeah. You not you and I between you and me. <laughs> Same thing to me. See, I'm good that with really the pisses me off when people say you and I incorrectly. Yeah. Oh, why? Oh, that See, to have something to do. Rules, rules. Yeah. In, but and listen, your indoctrination and how you hear right, words. I can clarify that actually. Yeah. But it all matters. They, they promote the misuse of you and I throughout television shows and even news people say you and I correctly. Hmm. Instead of saying you and me, they say you and I. Mm. You cannot, uh, somebody cannot give you and I something. They can give something to you and to me, mm -hmm. right? Mm. It's a simple, very simple little rule there for, for grammatical. Uh, Just to close the show out with another example of what the point of tonight's episode was about. It was the misuse of words to call us and get us to do certain behavior that we're not even aware of. Well, maybe we'll pick this up on the dork table and go further with it Saturday. I think I'm going to – this is going to be a broadcast. I'm going to go back and listen to it. I think there's a lot to uh, pull from here. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, yeah re-artunicate further. Hey. On, right. oh, on the Well, you want to – yeah, do the 
do whatever pitching you got. Oh, and if you got some extra dough out there in reader listening land and you want to help Grim through the holidays, send in some money. There's a button I, on the thing. There you go. I've made, uh, I've made, I think that's the only time I ever did it in my life. I've made a commitment at the first of the year to, uh, donate monthly to Real Liberty Media. And mm-hmm. so we're going to be coming up to the fundraiser real soon Ooh, here. Yeah. You know, and, uh, I'm going to, uh, yeah, they drew it again. It's good. Great. Whatever. Love Real Liberty Media. It's a good, good home. And, uh, you know, things don't fix themselves. So sometimes you need to. Right. A little extra. For the person that, uh, yeah, but for the people that, you know, are, are living a little short, don't, you know, don't forget to, you know, let them know it's I, no big thing. It's just like, you give what yeah, you can, I, you give, some people don't have money. They got other things to give. Like me. Uh, all I can tell you is what? I'll give you the example of the uh, hmm. the widow's mite. Hmm. So, anyways, here we are. Uh, and speaking of mite, uh, Poopster and Prince on the Power Hour might be back tomorrow. I'm thinking. I'm hearing rumors they'll be back. Uh, no, that's Thursday. Tomorrow, I need to get a hold. No, of tomorrow's Lonnie Wednesday. Bar. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday. Tomorrow, I need to get a hold of uh, Lonnie today for okay. to see if she's going to broadcast tomorrow, and I'll just. Pick it up in the broadcast okay. here, so we can get her her own little low seat over here. Okay. And then the power hour on Thursday. Well, on last, Thursday. Last week was Thanksgiving, yeah. so who who the hell yeah. would do a show on Thanksgiving in well, the states? I did one the day after. I did. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, a, white, a white Christmas, Black Friday. Me and Cirque like sat here and not listened to you together. Yeah, that's right. You you missed it. I well, probably had but. my butcher knife and I was banging on my banjo. Not our taste. A little bit. I understand that. <laughs> but, hey, man! All I can say is thank God for bluegrass covers. Good night, <laughs> everybody. Buddy. Wait, I'll, wait, let me give no. the rest of the schedule. Oh, okay. Friday, mm-hmm. the Freakers. Friday, y'all come back and uh, mm-hmm. Freakers ball, y'all. I'm here at noon. Friday, Saturday's the dork table. Uh, Sunday's is a big day. We've got blues and we've got trivia and we get to go behind the woodshed. Oh, a little bit of traversing this uh, mm. uh, past in life. Then Monday is Grim Leftovers. And, uh, grim Leftovers. You know, talking turkey. We had some Grim Leftovers. Uh, he right? was he was saying he's thinking of taking two weeks off yep. at the after. Not this coming week, but it's coming up. 23rd, yeah. I think. And, yeah. You know, I forget the other day. But uh, yeah. it, his show's good. So it and there's enough. He's done a year, so there. If you miss him, you can listen to an old one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he's gonna catch up his uh, actual yeah. number yeah. Of episodes because yeah. he started a couple of uh, weeks into the year, I think, with the, with the new show there. That's so, anyways, hey, thanks, for Flash. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, you too, Vinny. Uh, see you on Saturday at the Dork Table. Thanks, folks. Night, everybody.